Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I'm super excited to share with you three projects. We're going to be using some brand new embossing folders over at the Spellbinder shop. Um, this came out in the 2021 catalog. Now these uh, um, have been in the Spellbinder shop under the Fun Stampers Journey brand. The difference between the, fun, the green embossing folders that are Fun Stampers Journey and the Spellbinders ones is um, the way you run them through your die cutting machine, and I'll show you that in a minute. But there's four new, well, four new ones, and we have the Sun Rays, which is the one with, the, which is out of the package, and then we also have the Heart and Soul, the Scallops, and the Plaid Company. Now these are extra special to me because. Um, the projects that are in front of these embossing folders, I actually created for Spellbinders. And so I thought it would be fun to recreate um, three of them today. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create three cards inspired by the front of the package. <laughs> Let's jump in and we're going to get started. We're going to start off by using the Plaid Company embossing folder. Now, I have the Fun Stampers Journey one here and I wanted to show you just the difference. The pattern on your emboss detail is the exact same, guys. Um, the Spellbinders embossing folder is thicker and I would say it's a little bit better quality, heavier plastic. Um, Fun Stampers Journey is on the thinner side. Now, the only difference is whenever I used the Fun Stampers Journey embossing folders, I'm gonna bring in my machine and show you. you I'm gonna use my, my base platform here, and then I have to remove both of my cutting plates when I emboss with the green um, embossing folder. It actually has a guide for embossing folders on the very front, over here all the way to the right. And typically with the Spellbinders embossing folders, you just use one of your cutting plates. That's it. But with the Fun Stampers Journey um, embossing folders, you have to change the sandwich up and you have to use actually your blue embossing plate for this. You just place this on your platform, add your blue embossing plate, and then you run it through. Um, no big deal, it's super easy to do. I've did it, I love this embossing folder. I've used it many times. I, if I can run this through without my embossing or my craft map flying all over the place. But it bosses beautifully like this. But I like it. The Spellbinders came out with the same ones and I like that, you know why? Because I don't always have my blue embossing plate next to my machine. I always have my clear cutting plates, but I always have to stop what I'm doing to get out of my cabinet and then um, put it back. It just makes it easier when you just can use a cutting plate. For the embossing folder on the spell binders, you can see that the blue um, embossing um, plate does not run through, it's too thick. So you just would use one of your clear cutting plates and run it through and it makes it easy. So that's the only difference. They're both the exact same pattern. You just, your sandwich is basically different. You just use one cutting plate. Um, so I think that's super neat. And I love this embossing folder, by the way. It's called Plaid Company. And if I can find a video um, where I use this embossing plate, I'll link it at the end. You guys can check it out. It's a very nice plaid if you guys are looking for a new embossing folder. Okay, let's jump in and make the project on this card. I was so excited when um, I actually designed these um, cards that are in front of the embossing folder for the Spellbinders catalog. And I had no idea they were going to put it on the front of the package. So I thought this would be really nice to share with you guys on the process on how to create that card on the very front. So that's what we're going to do. I have some card stocks, some color essentials. These card stocks are brand new to the shop. And then also brand new is the Simply Perfect collection. I'm going to use the florals and then also some of the uh, sentiments and the alphabet of the Simply Perfect collection, along with one of the circles in the essential circles that I said. Everything I use will be listed below if you guys want to check it out. But I'm going to die cut out a circle with the dotted detail with black cardstock. We'll just tape that down. And then I have um, four different colors of the color essentials. I have pink sand, beeswax, persimmon, and rainforest. This cardstock is fabulous, guys. Um, very heavy weight. It, it says 80 pound, but I would say it's 100 pound. It's very thick cardstock, and it'd be perfect for card bases, too. So if you haven't had a chance to check out the new color essential cardstock, I think you're going to love it. For my first card, we're going to create some flowers. We're just taking the two um, layered pieces for the largest flower in this set. This is called the Simply Perfect Layered Blooms die set. 
gonna, and then we're going to take the larger leaf flourish in that die set and we're going to do some die cutting. Um, with white cardstock, I'm going to use the hugs from the Simply Perfect Mix, mix and Match Sentiments die set and that will be our sentiment for the card. We're going to die cut out both those flower pieces on each of the colored cardstock and then we're going to assemble. Now to assemble these, I invested and I went and got a little Xyron sticker maker here. We're going to see, we're going to use this for the first time for this project. I thought it'd be perfect. Um, these flowers are nice because there's etched detail in each layer. And um, so we're going to do a little bit of layering um, with these. We're going to run both the top layer of the flowers and the leaf flourishes and even the hugs through the sticker maker here. I think it's just going to make for a fast and easy um, card project. You just twist the little handle, add our last leaf and our hugs, and then we created a adhesive back bottom. Now, you, if you don't have, well, obviously not everybody has a sticker maker, but um, glue would work just fine. I've glued many times, or you could use some um, white liner sheets too when you do your die cutting. You just place it behind your cardstock. Um, so there's lots of options when layering. I'm going to go ahead and take my beeswax flower and we're going to adhere our persimmon um, right over the top. Now the sticker maker worked great, but the only difference is, is there's a lot of extra sticky adhesive um, around it. Um, I was, I'm afraid with the hugs how it's going to lift up off of here. But there's one flower second flower we're going to take persimmon base and add our pink sand to the top and it's very easy to line up third flower is the beeswax flower and we're going to go ahead and add our pink sand right on top of that and when i die cut this piece out i left one in so i'm going to use my tool in one and just pick that out and those are our flowers pretty simple so far i did die cut out the flower centers with black cardstock i'm just going to add a dot of glue and we're going to add our flower centers. So the nice thing about this set is um, it die cuts out three flowers at once. So we'll set that aside and we're going to grab our background. We already embossed it with our plaid company embossing folder. I'm going to keep it white, but I think this these embossing folders would be real pretty with the brand new color essentials card stuff also. We're going to add adhesive behind our back and this is going to be a full card front panel. We're just going to adhere it. I have a little bit of excess overhanging, so we're going to just trim that off. We can get it straight here. <laughs> okay, and then I have my essential circle we die cut out. I'm going to adhere that, offsetting it from our card front just slightly. We're going to trim off the part that's overhanging, and then we're going to arrange our flowers. I'm going to go ahead and grab our first flower. We're going to actually flip them over and add some foam squares behind them. And then um, we're going to kind of arrange them at the bottom of our circle here. I'm not pressing down um, just yet. Um, I like to kind of play around with the placement first and then um, and then press them down really good for the for a secure placement. I decided to pop up my um, my essential black circle here. Um, I think that's what I did when I created the packaging um, because I tucked my last flower underneath. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to remove the release paper and tuck it underneath here. And then we're going to go ahead and add our last leaf, tucking it under our middle flower. I think we're going to take our scissors and trim off that bottom two leaves and then we'll just tuck it underneath here. I went ahead and add my hugs also. So that is project number one. Pretty easy. Love the embossing folders. They're so nice. Um, I do add a little bit of dotted detail with my white gel pen to the center of the flowers just to kind of tie everything in together. If you want to use your some white crystal drops, I think that would be pretty also. But that is project number one. It's kind of hard to tell with that embossing folder um, with the reflection of the light, but it is so pretty. For card number two, we're going to create this card on the package. And again, for these flowers, we're going to be using the same um, layered bloom set. 
This die um, embossing folder is called Heart and Soul. It creates some rows of hearts that all over your background. I embossed that on a panel that measures three inches by four and a quarter. That's going to be where we're going to add our flowers. Now what I had did just to intensify the heart shapes since our background is white, it's so neat to do. And if you guys have any kind of shaped flower or shaped embossing folders, this is great to do. I added my C1 marker and highlighted the left side of the hearts and it just made them pop a little bit more. After I did that to our um, embossed background, I'm going to go ahead and you can see I die cut out all of my flowers. We're going to layer our leaves together here. We're using the same cardstock that we used for card number uh, one. We have the pink sand beeswax persimmon and rainforest. And I'm just layering my rainforest leaves on top of my white cardstock here. I guess it would be helpful if I showed you what dyes that I had used to cut out my flowers. But um, the layer bloom set, it has lots of different options on flowers, guys, tons. But this is the leaf dye. It actually creates a solid leaf and then you have an insert to create that veiny portion on the very top that we layered together. You just put it both, insert it and then die cut it out and it creates that vein for your leaves. For our white flowers, I used that dye there and then this also with white cardstock. And then for the little itty bitty flower, we, we're gonna die cut this little die out. That actually can insert in this die. I die cut out um, the yellow with the slightly larger one. And then you layer this insert in that flower to create um, our other little uh, pink sand flower. And then you can die cut out our uh, persimmon flower with one of the other dies. And they all layer together beautifully. So in case you want to know what flower dies I used, I, I ran that through probably pretty quick, but I did want to share with you the dies that I use to create my flowers. These flowers are pretty on their own, but they're great for layering too. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to each of um, the colored cardstock, and then I'm going to add the white on top of the smallest, and then the pink sand we're going to put be on top of our white, and then our persimmon we're going to put on top of our white flower too. So easy to put together and then the details that are in the inserts of these flowers are really nice. You don't have to do much to them because they're really pretty on their own. I'm going to go ahead and add foam adhesive behind all of my leaves and flowers and arrange them on the bottom of our uh, heart and soul embossed panel. And then once I am happy with the placement, we're going to go ahead and add our sentiment. So pretty. Now, Actually, before we add our sentiment, we're going to add our striped paper. These are one and a quarter inch strips. One and a quarter inch by four and a quarter inch strips. Um, they create the perfect stripes for a card front panel. So we're adding our persimmon to the bottom. We're going to add our rainforest at the very top. And then we have our two color card stocks left over. This is... Um, how I evenly space them. I'm not going to commit to this one just yet. Um, I'm going to add my pink first and then I can adjust it as I go. Add our pink sand on the bottom and I think we need to lower our yellow one just a bit. And then we have some nice stripes. Some of my paper it wasn't cut perfectly so I'm going to use my scissors and trim off the excess on the side here. And that creates a real fun summery background. Love these colors. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add my sentiment. For my sentiment, I'm, again, I'm going to be using the Simply Perfect Mix and Match Sentiments. Now, for my card front, on the packaging, I put thank you. Uh, but for this card here, I'm going to be using Happy Birthday. That's in that same die set. I die cut it out with white cardstock. And then I added glue behind there so they're ready to go. Um, for some reason, I can't find my U that goes to my mix and match sentiments and it's killing me. I don't know what I did. It's probably stuck behind a magnet somewhere. I just pray I didn't uh, sweep it up and toss it, but I can't find my U. So I thought happy birthday would be just as nice. I need birthday cards. I popped up my panel 
my embossed heart and soul panel and I added that to the center of my card base. Now just to bring everything together I'm bringing in some black Nouveau Crystal Drops. If you guys have black enamel dots you could do the same thing or some black sequins but I'm just dotting the center of the flowers. Since our sentiment is nice and bold I thought we'd add some bold flower centers. But that is card number two. We'll do a little tapping to flatten those drops and that is project number two. We're going to move on to project number three again using those same um, cardstock colors and this time we're going to make this pretty card. This just just because card. The, di uh, the embossing folder that I'm using for this is called Scallops. It actually is pretty neat. This would be great for like a little mermaid card but it's great for just every day too. Um, what I'm going to do is trim down a strip of my yellow beeswax cardstock here. I'm going to actually trim down the strip to one and a half, actually two inches. And then I'll place this in my embossing folder and then I'll take um, my white cardstock and I'm going to place it to the bottom edge. I only want a, a few of those scallops on the very bottom of this piece of cardstock. So it's going to overhang. I'll run this through my die cutting machine and then finish embossing the rest of my colors here. So we have um, the scalloped edge on all three colors and then the very bottom of our white cardstock. Now you can see here I have just a couple layers there. I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and at the very bottom layer I'm going to follow the embossed detail of the scallop and just trim it away. Just creating um, a little scallop edge on the very bottom. And I did that to every piece here. And then it's the fun part. I'm going to take a Versa marker pen. Versa marker pens are really nice. If you don't have one of these, you could um, use your Versa mark or your watermark ink pad and um, just use the edge of it and go along the edge of your scallops. Um, these pens are kind of handy dandy and not too expensive either. But I'm going to go ahead and draw along the scalloped edge. There is embossed detail um, that makes it very easy to cut and then also very easy to follow along. So I'm going to use my sticker uh, backing here so I don't get this on my craft mat. But I'm going along the bottom edge and then I'll dip it in my white embossing powder. And we're going to just repeat the process to all of these pieces except for the white here. And then we'll melt that embossing powder. So we have some white detail on our um, embossed panels here. Next, I'm just going to over my mat a bit. <laughs> I've been slip sliding with this mat all day. <laughs> I think I need to tack it down with some double sided tape. But I'm going to layer all of my scalloped edges together, kind of evenly spacing them. We're going to go ahead and add our beeswax here on top of our persimmon. And then last we'll add our pink sand on top of our beeswax, kind of evenly spacing them. Um, now I am going to end up bringing in my paper trimmer and trimming off these to the left and to the right. But we're going to add our last white edged scallop piece too. Now I only did the bottom portion of the white panel because I want to put my sentiment on the top and I wanted it to be smooth. But we'll just add a little bit of adhesive and I think I wanted the gap on the pink a little bit wider than the bottom three colors just for something a little bit different. Now obviously this is too long for an A2 size card front so we're going to bring in the paper trimmer and I'm going to end up trimming it down um, on the left and right so it's three and a half inches wide. We'll trim this side and then I'll just flip my panel around and trim it off on the opposite side. It's basically going to leave me about a half of an inch around my card, my card base. It's a beautiful day and if you hear the cats crying in the background, they're at the windows. I have the windows open so they want to go outside. <laughs> okay, there's my panel. I think we're going to trim it a little bit more but I want to adhere my sentiment first. Now for this card we're going to be using the Simply Perfect Alphabet die set. I'm going to grab the letters H, E, L, and O. Of course we're going to have to die cut out two L's to create the sentiment that says hello. But the nice thing about this die set is um, the size for one, they're about one inch tall, but they're, they're kind of narrow too which makes it really nice for sentiments. 
but I die cut it out with black cardstock. And I, um, since we're gonna put the sentiment um, on the right side, I started with the O first and just followed the L, L, and the E, and then lastly, we'll add the H. Just makes it easier for, for placement. For these, I'm just adding a little bit of glue behind my sentiment. And I'm using my tweezers, my Spellbinders tweezers. These are so nice. And it got stuck on my hand here. We'll reattach that. And that is our hello. Okay. Now that we have our sentiment, we're going to go ahead and grab some of our black licorice twine. We're going to wrap it around. There is a seam line between the scallops and the smooth side of our embossed white um, area here. I'm going to add our twine just above um, the scalloped area, kind of separating them both. I'm going to tie a bow off to the left here. We'll trim the tails and I still think my panel is a bit too long. So what we're going to do is take the paper trimmer and trim off a little bit off the top. And then I'm going to adjust the layers uh, on the very bottom too. The, the tape runner that I use gives you time. It's a little bit more repositionable. So um, I can adjust the layers just slightly. So basically we have about a half an inch around the top and then the bottom and left and right. I'm going to go ahead and add some foam behind our background scallop panel. Lots of layers here, but um, love the way this looks. I'm gonna go ahead, adjust our, we don't wanna tape down our licorice twine. I'm gonna center this on our A2 size card base. And I think we're gonna make our bow a little bit smaller. We'll trim the tails off of our, our bow hair. But then I'm not going to add any bells and whistles because I think the embossed detail from that scallops uh, embossing folder on each of those layers is super pretty. I kind of like the clean look of it. But that is our third project. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Um, that And you know what, guys? Check out the packaging of the Spellbinders um, die sets and embossing folders. There's lots of inspiration on there and you can create lots of cards with it. But these are the four new embossing folders. I didn't create a card with the sun rays, but um, that's a pretty embossing folder too. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous day, guys. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.